So first off, let's check out Cinebench 11.5. As it runs, you can see the G5 started to take the lead, and in fact, it finishes about 16 seconds sooner. However, that's not much of a difference. As you can see, it only picked up a fraction of a point, with the Pentium D scoring 0.76 points and the G5 scoring 0.77. Now, I found a copy of Bryce 7 for both. I'm using a couple of the supplied demo scenes to run these tests. In the first test, they seem to be neck and neck, with the G5 finishing about 8 seconds sooner. It's not much, but it's something. However, on the second, more complex scene, which required more anti-aliasing, there was more of a gap, but this time the Pentium D pulled ahead and finished about 37 seconds sooner than the G5. With Handbrake, although I use the same version, the Windows version shows its encoding status in a terminal window. Regardless, you'll see the Pentium D absolutely thrashes the G5 in this encoding test. The G5 rendered about 1 FPS slower on average and finished about an hour after the Pentium D. Now there's two ways that we can look at these results.